Signs of the Time, Chapter 88, March 6, 1879, Necessity of Thorough Bible Study. The following we find in the weekly instructor number 9. It is for the special consideration of those interested in the Sabbath school work. We are fast entering the peril of the last days when views which conflict with the word of God will be presented by men of giant intellects. And we are to be able to show the falsity of their claims. Our children also should be thoroughly furnished with Bible truth so that they will not be moved by every new doctrine presented in their hearing. Many parents do not see the necessity that their children should be so particular in learning their Sabbath school lessons and often neglect to give them proper assistance or encouragement. The great object of thoroughness in the study of the Bible is that they may understand why they believe as they do and that when the test shall come and the question is asked, Will you obey God or will you yield to the requirement of the world? They will decide to serve God because by studying his word, they have learned to love him and his truth. We desire that the youth shall be able to say, we have become familiar with the scriptures and we see that it is of the highest importance that we owe, we be obedient to the truth of God found in his word. We want the little children to understand the Bible and grow up in the knowledge of the truth. And we as parents do not wish to be found among those who do not see the necessity of their children's understanding the scriptures for themselves and who are therefore negligent and cause their children to be negligent. But we want to be earnest in earnest in these matters and search the scriptures and see that our children search them. Christ said, search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life and they are they which testify of me. We should become firm in the truth, the word of God which testifies of him in whom all our hopes of everlasting lives are centered. If you would know how to imitate the spotless life and character of Christ, obtain a knowledge of him as presented in the word of God. The apostle says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnishing unto all good works. If, therefore, you would be thus thoroughly furnished and ready always to give an answer to every man that acts at you a reason of the hope that is in you, with, and with meekness and fear, study the Bible with all diligence. The teachers in our Sabbath schools should be God-fearing men and women who can have an interest in the spiritual condition of the members of their classes, as well as see that they have good lesson. They should be connected with God and should feel it a duty to pray with and for each pupil in their classes. The Sabbath school teacher who is faithful in little things is preparing himself for a higher responsibility. We should be faithful in everything. It is a sin to forget. Many are heard again and again to excuse themselves from some gross error by saying that they forgot. Have they not intellectual powers? And is it not a duty to discipline their minds to be retentive? It is a sin to neglect. If you form a habit of negligence, you will find at last you have neglected your own soul's salvation and are unready for the kingdom of God. Parents and teachers, let us awake to our duty 
let us sense the responsibility of our position and take hold of the Sabbath school work with more zeal and earnestness that God can approve of every effort and that our children may lay up song knowledge and with us be prepared for the future immortal life. E.G. White